Hello and welcome to this iMesh tutorial video and today this tutorial is going to be a quick guide on how to use these new skirting sets which we're uploading to iMesh and basically how these work is that you have a curve which will be the room shape and then you apply the skirting profile to the curve and then you have an instant skirting that goes all the way around the room without any problems. You can of course make your own profiles and you don't need to use the ones from iMesh and I'll show you how to do that afterwards. So I'm going to make a really quick room, so I'm going to add a cube. Let's bring this up. I know this cube is 2 meters tall, so let's make it 3 meters tall. And just make a room and, I don't know, just add a couple of loop cuts and stretch this out. Okie dokie, so we now have a room. Let's select the whole room and do Shift N. I want to make sure that the normals are on the, on the other side. You can always go to here and click on Face Orientation, so that is now correct. I'm going to turn that back off. Okay, now I'm going to select the whole room and press Shift D, Enter, and then P selection. And now we have a an edge here. So now I'm going to press F3 and convert to curve. So now we have the curve. So now I'm going to download a skirting from iMesh and then I'm going to import it here and then we will work with that. Okay, so now we now have all of these skirtings. So what we can do is find the one that we like. So uh, I think maybe this one. And I'm going to click on the curve first and then click on this one and press Control J. And now they're joined. And now we can just hide all of these. Oh, not this one. Press H to hide. And now we can just move this down and go into edit mode and we can just delete this one. If you, you can also use this one, so if you have a room you, and you can just use this piece, so what you could do is, let's hide actually. And what you can do is press uh, shift and tab to turn on snapping. Just make sure you've got it set to uh, edge select, vertex select, sorry. And you can just move this over to where you want it to go. And then you've got instant skirting too, so you can just do this and press E to extrude. And there we go. So now we have a perfect skirting all the way around the room. I've also got a bevel applied to it already, so that should be working fine. And, and yeah, the reason why I made this is because I use 3D Studio Max a lot in a studio. And in 3D Studio Max, you can use the sweep uh, pro, uh, modifier and basically do the same thing. And that is seems to be what all the professionals use. Whereas for some reason in Blender, nobody seems to be using this uh, geometry and selecting the actual um, skirting profile that they want um, is quite a long-winded winded process otherwise. So I thought, well, we do that in the studio, so let's make it work in Blender. Okay, so you can actually make your own profile. So if we unhide and see what these ones look like. So what I've got here is that they're facing in this direction and the the origin is kind of in the corner and that origin is where the corner of the room will go. So let's just make another one here. So if you go to Edit Preferences and type in Extra Objects, and you've got this here. Make sure you've got the one this selected. And then you go to here, and now you can have Extra Object Add Single Vert. So let's go back to Top View. And I'm going to go to Edit Mode, and make sure you've got Vertex selected. And now that is that Vert. Now you can just press E, Y. Oh, let's turn this back off. Y, and then we could just make the beautiful skirting. So I obviously spent a bit more time doing that last time. And yeah, let's just join this up. And there we go, beautiful. So now what we're going to do is press F3, convert to curve. And now we have a new profile. So if we click on this object and we select this one here. Oh dear. Oops, bevel, sorry. And there we go, we have a new we have a new profile. And it's kind of as easy as that. Sometimes the orientation might be a little bit wrong, and you might want to go to select shift S cursor to select it to make sure you got the object origin. Let's move up so we can see it. And then what you want to do is do shift S cursor to selected, sorry. And then go to here and click on 
3D cursor, and then you can rotate it along the 3D cursor. But go into edit mode, make sure you've got everything selected, and then RY. And then you can see that this is rotating. You'll always want to rotate it in increments of, let's say, 90 degrees in, in various axis, axes, axes? I don't know. And then eventually you'll get it to, to fit. It can be a little bit fiddly, but yeah, so you want to have it facing the way I've got it is Y up and the room side to the X, and then it should work fine like I've just did it here. So if you're looking to get into ArcViz, we do have a brand new system over at iMesh, and that's $99 for our whole library. Basically, that gives you one full year of access to all of our products, as well as all of the new products which we release. So we'll be releasing about 30 new products per month, and then you'll get full access to those as well, as long as you stay subscribed, basically. But that equates to about 14 cents per model at this point. Um, and it, the price is only going to go down as we release more products. So eventually it'll be worth, I don't know, 10 cents per model. So yeah, if you're looking to get into that and you want to try out these skirtings, then okay, so then you just click on Irish Exclusive and then all of these products listed will be the ones that you can get unrestricted access to. Um, I haven't released the skirting just yet, but that will be happening well pretty much straight after I upload this video, so you should have some, the skirtings to play with. So then you just click on the, say, product that you want, for example. And then once you've signed up, you can just click download and then that product just downloads instantly. And then that is yours to play with.